I Professor Jami welcome you to this video and I would like to explain example number three. In this question we have an identity cosine theta plus one is equal to sine theta. To solve it in the interval zero to two pi. For solving this one, we have to convert this identity into a single function, sine or cosine. But you can see we cannot convert it because there is no square of cosine function or sine function. So first of all, we shall change into cosine and sine in the form of squares, and then we will be able to solve this identity. So we take square both sides. We take square both sides. So squaring gives us sine square theta. Simplify it. So a plus the whole square we use here, first number square, last number square and product of this simply. But we need one function here, either sine or cosine. What is easy to write, because two cosine are already here, so we write down the formula for sine square theta in terms of cosine. So this gives us cosine square theta plus 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals 1, one minus cosine square theta. Because sine square theta formula we are using, we take this one. 1 minus cosine theta. Now shift it on left side. So this becomes cosine square theta plus cosine square theta. Okay plus 2 cosine theta plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. All these numbers you write on left side. So we have 2 cosine square theta. I, we add them. Plus 2 cosine theta is equal to 0. We cancel. Okay. What should we do here now? Factorize, yes. Factorization will give us two factors like this cosine theta plus one is equal to zero. So when we have two factors, we can write cosine theta is equal to a number and sine theta is equal to a number. And from there we can find their values. So cosine theta is equal to zero or cosine theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? Now we have two equations, cosine theta 0 and cosine theta plus 1 is equal to 1. We have to solve them. So cosine theta is equal to 0 or cosine theta is equal to negative 1. We have these two functions. Take it first, cosine theta is equal to 0. Give me the values for which theta is equal to, theta gives you cosine theta 0. You know, yeah, here at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2, cosine is 0. Okay? If it is 0, so theta is equal to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. That is. You can check by the graph as well. If you use the graph, and in the graph you can see zeros are here. Zeros are here. This is 2 pi, pi. Pi over 2, 
3 pi over 2. Okay. So these red points are zeros of the graph, which are on x axis. So for which values? Pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So either way you can remember it. Now, we take a second equation. Now, we are taking the other equation, which is here, cosine theta is equal to negative 1. You know here cosine is positive 1, and here negative 1, and this point is pi, and this is 0 and 2 pi. So we are here at this point. So for which value of theta cosine is equal to negative 1? Pi. Very good. So theta is equal to pi. So these are the three values for the function cosine. But we have to find our answer within the given domain. And our domain is over here 0 to 2 pi. Domain is 0 to 2 pi. Pi by 2 is in this domain. 3 pi by 2 is in this domain. Pi is also in this domain. But we are not sure these values are going to satisfy the given equation or not. Because we made a change over here by taking square on both sides. So we are not sure either these values of theta are going to satisfy this equation or not. So we must check it at the end. Don't accept the answer directly until we verify both sides are equal for these given values of theta. Okay? Now, see here, we check it. If theta is pi by 2 and we replace in the function cosine theta plus 1 is equal to sine theta, we replace it. So this gives us cosine pi by 2 plus 1 is equal to sine pi by 2. Just please verify it yourself. Yes. Both sides are equal. What is cosine pi by two? Yeah. Zero plus one. This is one. So one is equal to one. So this is two. So the first value, this one, satisfy the equation. Similarly, we check for the second one, three pi by two. If theta is three pi over two. So we replace the same equation. So this becomes cosine 3 pi over 2 plus 1 sine 3 pi over 2. It doesn't, one is, uh, the other side is 1 and the other side is negative. Right? Cosine pi over 3 is what? Pi over 3 is 0 because cosine is 0 over there. And here are these points. So this is 0 plus 1. And sine at 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. So 1 is equal to negative 1 is false. This is not true. So 3 pi over 2 cannot be the solution of the equation. Yes. I wanted to check because here we put the cosine pi over 2. Oh, OK. OK. That's one. Okay, now check for the other value, which is uh, theta equals pi. So we substitute in the same equation and we see cosine pi plus 1 is equal to sine pi. So this gives you cosine pi is. Negative 1 plus 1 and sine pi yeah. 0. So 0 is equal to 0. It is true. Yeah. This is true. So you have seen normally the values we find, they satisfy the equation, but in this case, this value is not satisfied. So it cannot be our solution. So, so solutions are.
solutions are theta equals pi over 2 and pi. Because they belong to the interval 0. Any question? Okay. Uh, thank you.